So you know, anytime I get a chance to do a house tour, I'm gonna to bring you guys to it. Today, I'm outside a little farmhouse that's going on the market this week, privately. It's not going up with an estate agent or anything like that. It's being sold by the owner and it's gonna be up on my feed in the next couple of minutes. But I want you guys to have a look around with me. So come on. <laughs> While I'm outside on the road, I just want to show you the little entrance gate. <laughs> and the view across the road, because this is just going to blow your mind. Now it is somewhat shrouded by those trees here, but honestly, lads, this is just heaven. Okay, so I'm just about to go in through the gate. I have my wellies on. And before I do, I just want to show you one thing that we're after spotting on the ground here just outside the gate. So this is the gate and just outside it here on the ground is a water mains turn off valve and what that basically means is that you have mains water just outside this house which is a fantastic bonus takes a hell of a lot of hardship off you in the long run and a really really great thing to see so look out for these guys if you're looking at houses you want to see one of these outside okay you ready to go inside come on can i just say how much i love this gate it's absolutely beautiful Okay, I'm going to switch around so we can have a look at what you get inside this fantastic farmyard. <laughs> okay, so we have the gate that I just came in through. Tiny little outbuilding there. We have a beautiful set of outbuildings here. Another set here. And if I just step back a little bit, I'm going to get you a good view of the house. And there she is. A little gate then to the side that brings you to the front yard and back down again. So I have all the doors open on this one now. So I just want to come and have a look with you guys. I'm going to go down to this one first. So this is really just a little lean to here. It's not part of the massive vernacular structure we have to the side. But look, needs skylights. But other than that, it looks to be relatively functional. Has a good big door closes up quite well. Now this one here is a bit of a different story. Let's see, can we have a look inside? So this place has kind of like a little cattle area down here with doors to the back. It has stone floors, stone on the inside and that top door you can see up there on your right where the really strong lights coming in is the next door up. So a nice big space down here and quite obviously that's not a roof, that's a floor. So I'm thinking we might maybe have an upstairs here. We might maybe go and have a look at. So I'm going to bring you in through the other door. So this is the top one, still that same building. I mean, this is nice, nice and solid. Good big space, not particularly the best head height, but I think we can put up with that for the moment. Okay, let's go see where this upstairs area is coming from, because I'm not seeing a stairs down here at all. So the yard here kind of splits and goes up to the left, just beyond the gable end of this building here that we were just in. And if you look, you can see it's like a little pathway up. I think I know where our upstairs area is. This is it here. Look at that. So I'm going to get Jay to come up and open it up for me and we'll have a look inside in two seconds. Okay, so we have it open. Yay! So this is what we have up here. Now I'm not going to walk in on it because it looks a bit the worse for wear down here. But to be fair, that roof is not in terrible condition. 
And I was talking to the owner, just so you can have a little bit of folklore about this place. This actually used to be used for dances back in the day in the community. So everyone would have their bikes all stacked outside. And this is where they'd have dances in rural Ireland, maybe 50, 60 years ago. So this is a little piece of history here and something that it's really, really important to kind of preserve. And who knows, maybe if you buy it, you could start it all over again. Wouldn't that be so much fun? Okay, come on, we have so much more to show you. So while I'm up here, I just want you to have a look at a little bit more of the land that you get with this place. So you have a lovely big hay barn. To be fair, a fantastic view of North Tipperary. My house is over there somewhere. Hello. <laughs> then you have another entrance that leads up onto a back road here. There's so much in this place, lads. It's not even funny. You have a little cart house here and another gateway that brings you up to the front garden of the house. There's so much going on here. It's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, so I'm coming back down from the top end of the farmyard now, which is where that cart house was, remember? And across the yard from that set of outbuildings we were just in is another really, really lovely set of outbuildings that I want to show you. So this is them here. See them here behind me? We're going to go have a look at them now, okay? Come on. Okay, so my door opener has been out again. So now we get to go and have a little look into these ones. So these are a block of kind of tree sheds on their own. I mean, the height of these is crazy. These are really, really tall sheds. Really nice stonework too in them, you know? I mean, these are old sheds and they're nicely done. I mean, just look at those stone arches, lads. And if you see the little holes up here, that shows that there used to be a floor here years ago, which would explain why this upper window is here. So not the biggest job to get a floor back in here again. You can see the holes here as well. Look here and here. And as you can see up here, we have a roof that's in the shape of a capital A. Now we call that a pitched roof. But if you notice when we go to the other two, they've got kind of flat looking roofs on them. But this just shows that these buildings more than likely had this shape of a roof to begin with. In fact, the owner did confirm it with me earlier that the flat roofs were put on at a later date when they were trying to keep the place maintained in their older age. So this is something that could very easily be put back on if you had the budget later on. You could get those roofs back up to the old vernacular style that they had in the beginning, which is a huge plus. Yay! Okay, come on, we're gonna go back outside again. Try not to slip. Okay, so these are the ones I was talking about that have that kind of flat looking roof on them. I'm just gonna go right back so you can see. So what the owner was saying is that all of these had this style of a roof here on them. But these ones, when they were done up, were put back to just being a more basic roof. So it would be lovely ultimately to get them back to that lovely slate roof that they had before. But in the meantime, what's on these may very easily be keeping the weather out. And that is all that matters. Right, let's see this one. Okay, so these two are open to each other. And yet, yeah, look, like I thought, uh, that's a really solid roof. Really, really nice, fairly modern, keeping the place good and dry. You've got stone troughs at the back there, dividers for cattle. And again, if I can stand back, uh, more of those stone arches. These are really, really nice arches. Really, really nice upstairs windows. I love these outbuildings. I'm going to talk about these outbuildings in a minute. But for now, that's your second set of outbuildings. Okay, come on, back out. Can you believe I haven't even gotten to the house yet? These outbuildings behind me, and like the one over there, remember? The dance hall. Like that one. These have so much potential. I mean, these are in really, really nice condition. Quite a lot better condition than parts of the house. But it just goes to show that, especially with two-storey outbuildings, you have a hell of a lot of potential in these. And we haven't even gone into the house yet. So this is all good. Do you want to see the house? Of course you do. Come on. Okay, so let's have a chat about this house. This little part here is a bit of an extension and this is being used as a shed at the moment but the upstairs of it is actually connected into the top of the house from what I can gather. 
the inside of it has had a lot of water ingress so it's not in perfect condition but the owners have done a fantastic job clearing it out it looks so nice inside now and honestly even just getting to see what you're working with is a really really huge thing i think there's no getting away from the fact that this needs a roof i think <laughs> it's safe to say it might maybe need a new chimney as well um but let's have a look and see what we're working with inside so we have a little porch here, which are really common in these old farmhouses. Fairly new addition, little kind of a scullery really is what you're working with here. And it has a galvanized roof, which to be fair, needs to be replaced. Little sink, little window out into the front yard and back to your door. Now we're gonna go into the main house. So what have we got here? We've got a large room here, which would have been, I'm assuming, the main living room or the kitchen. We have a little solid fuel stove with a little shelf over it and little built-ins on either side. We might be lucky enough. Oh! Well, we have built-ins. Now, to me, when I see built-ins, they tell me one thing. And that is, oh my God, we keep that in one piece. And that is that there's more than likely a really, really large hearth in behind this. Now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to set this up and I am going to draw in for you where I can see that stone arch. Just above the white tiles, there is a little arch going along there. And because we have these two presses here, they're in a gap, like they're filling a hole. And I can guarantee you that there's a fireplace in behind this. Look at this arch. Do you see it there? Look. Look. So there's your keystone in the middle. Your stone's coming along and then they sink. If you can see here, they sink just there. The arch does. So we have a really, really nice big arched fireplace in behind that. Worth saving. Now... There's no getting away from the fact that the floors have fallen in here. That roof needs to be redone. If you're someone that wants to come in and deep retrofit a house, gut the whole place, this is the house for you because everything needs to come out. The owners are aware of it. They've done a very, very good job tidying it out, to be fair. I mean, everything we have here is just as tidy as they could possibly get it without taking any of the character out of the place and without making it that you can't see how this place was lived in before they got it, which is really, really good. So we have a stairs as well here, which I'm not going up, <laughs> nor am I recommending anybody else go up. The water ingress from the little skylights in the roof is quite bad. There are rooms up there I can't really show you. And then there are, obviously there were rooms up here. You can see again, these little telltale holes where the floors all used to sit. Again, I know this kind of can sound a little bit daunting. It's one of these places that can be a bit scary when you think about what needs to be done. But at the end of the day, if you're coming in and you're planning on replacing all of your timbers in a house, you're planning on putting a new roof on it anyway, then you could totally do it here and think about what you get with those outbuildings. Okay, come on, we're gonna go in and have a look at this other downstairs room. Now, the owner told me that back in the day, this little alcove here used to be the door that led out into the front garden. So the fact that we have a window in it now just shows that there is still a head in place above it. You could very easily replace that with a door again, knock your wall down below it, get a door fitted back in by a carpenter, and you have another little front door that leads out into the front yard. Here we have the sitting room. Okay, let's do this.
The main thing to remember with this place is that when you look past the ceilings and you look past any of that like moisture and stuff that you can see here on the chimney, breast wall and stuff like that, realistically, you're just looking at a house that needs to be completely redone. The house itself still feels quite solid. I know the roof obviously is a little bit kind of hinky and when it comes to the floors upstairs, like I said, we're not walking upstairs. But this is one of those places that needs to be saved. It's one of those places that a lot of people maybe might walk away from and go, I couldn't take that on. But you have to remember that the work that's going to be done in this place is more than likely not going to be done by you. It's going to be done by the people who are actually doing the retrofitting in the house. So just take a breath and imagine it painted white with new ceilings and new floors and new sash windows because you are replacing the windows with proper wooden windows because they're way better for the environment. And sure isn't it going to be fantastic? Of course it is. And that's basically it. We have two rooms downstairs. We have the potential to have probably four upstairs because it's quite hard to tell because we can't actually get up the stairs. And I'm going to put all the details below about the price and everything. And I'm going to put an email address so you can get in touch with the person who's selling it if it's something maybe that you might want to buy. Oh, it's in Tipperary. I totally forgot to tell you where it was. <laughs> what are we like? Okay. This is it, another house tour. If you know anybody that would like to sell a house that they haven't thought about selling for years, who would maybe like to show off a house that's in really, really nice old condition, maybe give us all a feel for what can be done, make us feel like we're not too crazy for wanting to do these houses up, then get in touch with me either below or on Instagram. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you'll know when there's more videos.